Hello everybody on YouTube, and I'm going to show you this voice chat client called Mumble, which is free and open source, and it's available for download at mumble.sourceforge.net. And basically, it's a voice chat client. I don't have too much on here. You have server connect and stuff. And I've seen things on chats that show people how to run their own mumble servers. Alright, where is it? All the way down here. Mumble. And it's called Murmur. And if you have it on Windows, you can run it. There's a config.ini file. Or is it a mumble? Well, it goes in the same folder that Murmur does. Probably not going to show you my private settings for IP and all that stuff. But you get Murmur running and you get this like little icon down here It says Murmur. And when you start Mumble, it will not show under your server. So what you have to do is click on Add New. And for the address you put 127.0.0.1, which is just on your own computer. I'm sure most of you know how to do that. And if you connect to your own server, then it becomes visible. But it won't become visible by default. And right now I have my microphone muted, but if you turn it off... As you can see, whenever I'm talking, it'll show the little funky mouth icon lit up. And when it's quiet, it goes gray. But anyhow, most of your server commands, I think you can actually access from here with right-click menus. But since I'm the only one on this... You're not going to see all that. You can set up, uh, change your comment, change your information. You, and I think you can change some of these other things if you're admin -y. Technically, I would be admin, but why would I do it to myself? I don't know. And if you want to join another server, you can go to public internet, publicly listed. And I believe all this stuff, like the names for the servers, those are available through the config files. I'm not sure if others can see my server. Well, if a random person joined on it, it'd be kind of entertaining. But the idea is you run your own mumble server, and you can go on, uh, like, Minecraft or whatever. Well, I do Minecraft, but whatever games. I'm also thinking of doing eye scribbles with the mumble, but I don't know if anybody would be interested in it. But this is just kind of a neat thing. It's a voice chat client. You can also do typing, like if you were an IRC or some other chat clients. You can go, hello, people. And it shows up in here just like it would in any other text client. So you actually have two ways to do it if you don't want to. If you're, like, <laughs> trying to be quiet, but you still want to get a message. If you mute your mic, you can still chat with the text. Or if you don't have a mic, you can still chat with the text. And if people are really annoying or loud, you can also do that. And that makes it go quiet. Or if you gotta go to the bathroom or something, whatever. And you can even record it. It'll just have this own little recording window that pops up. But that gives you an idea. It's mumble client. Or mumble chat client. But it comes with the murmur. Just down here, show log. Which will show everything I did. And basically that's just how it works. And you don't have to go through somebody else's chat or hosted server. You can run your own with Murmur. Save your money or whatever. That's the whole point of open source, right? And that's spend money. <laughs> or half the point. I don't know. You can pay that money for somebody else's server if you want. But if you got the bandwidth running your own, big whoop. It's not that hard to set up. It's like Ventralo or TeamSpeak or whatever, but free. And you get to host your own server, so it's not that hard. And when you're done, you can uh, disconnect from server. Here you're disconnected, and then you can close down the murmur. And it's pretty simple. If I had someone to chat to that was on, I would show you that. But <laughs> right now it's kind of quiet. And if anyone wants to join in with a Minecraft session, give you a heads up. 
messaging. I'll try to get a new server up. Got a server, and I'm probably going to save the world to another folder and stuff. Because anytime there's like a burning fire on a game in the server, it just like lags to hell. So, till that gets fixed, I'm just going to start a new one sooner or later. But I'll save the old world. So, why not? <laughs> if I can catch my other friend, it would be in Bell Network and left to let him know. That's the idea. Simple chat client. You can run your own server. It's not that hard. Just remember to go through the config.ini file. But I'm not sure if I want to show everybody all my passwords and stuff. So, it's the only reason I'm not showing what's in there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but, you yeah. know, nothing too hard. So that's it, yeah. Not the world's best presentation, but it was like 50 hours. But you don't have to go to somebody else's server. That's the point I'm saying. You can run your own through Murmur. So when you get the startup and all the configuration, make sure all the things are downloaded. I don't have that on here, so you'll get the idea. And if you like my background, let me know. It's just something based on Minecraft and rendered in Carrara. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. And that's it. There.